The powerful undulatory propulsor of a fish creates unsteady back and forth motion, making it difficult to control and stabilize. Underwater missions require the robot to be controlled despite the disturbances from the ocean. To overcome this challenge, we designed Snap, a powerful robotic swimmer that is maneuverable and agile, capable of open water swims. Snap is designed with a narrow width body to reduce water drag and a large flexible fin powering its strokes. The entire system is packaged in this compact design, allowing for an untethered swim in the open ocean. Fast fish-like swimming is achieved with an augmented mechanism consisting of a scotch yoke and a pivot lever to create the tail movements. It converts the rotary motion of the motor into lateral motions to swing the tail left and right. Combined with a flexible tail, the motion resembles a real fish, with the signature S-shape seen in the wild. This is important for fast swimming as it creates alternating vortex rings that improve swimming efficiency. Snap can reach speeds up to 1.5 meters per second with a tail beat frequency of 4 hertz. To perform turns, we have the pair of pectoral fins and the caudal fin. The pectoral fins take advantage of the high flow speeds to control the pitch and roll, like that of a tuna. Our cyclic differential algorithm takes advantage of the powerful caudal fin. Using its pectoral fins, Snap can dive down and ascend. The pectoral fins also control the roll. Here we present Snap without any compensation. Note that Snap drifts to the left without any compensation. In this take, the pilot now attempts to control the lateral drift by controlling the roll. The most important thing for controlling the fish is control of the yaw angle. Here we attempt to control the yaw heading by first swimming in the northwest direction, and then making a sharp course correction to the end point. To achieve a maximum yaw rate, we can combine the effects from the active yaw turn with the passive flow by holding the tail still at the maximum angle of attack. Despite the speed reduction from the increased drag, Snap maintains its course. This is because of the high acceleration from the large caudal fin. We now attempt to combine all three controls to accomplish a figure 8 trajectory followed by an S trajectory to the starting point. Snap is controlled by the pilot throughout the entire swim. Snap begins the first half a circle, turning right, with a large turn diameter of 7.5 meters using the cyclic differential method only. Snap begins the first half a circle, turning right, with a large turn diameter of 7.5 meters using the cyclic differential method only. The first half is completed, and Snap changes direction to the left at this turning point. The graph at the 20s mark highlights this change, with a large acceleration, from 1 radian per second to minus 1.5 radian per second. The active roll command is in play, and the pilot attempts a swim and hold to complete a tight turn of 2.5 m, using all the turn methods available, and accelerates to the end point of the figure 8 swim. The fish is at a compromised position, it is sinking in with the head pointing up to the vertical. Nevertheless, the pilot still completes the S-curve, that is the left turn with a 0.83 m radius, followed by the final tight turn to reach the starting point. We then take the fish to Repulse Bay, Hong Kong to test it against the waves of the ocean. Open field robotics experiments are difficult with many unsuccessful attempts. Our biggest setback was when we lost one robot in the sea and could not find it despite searching throughout the day. The test settings are always unpredictable, which would require us to bring as many sets of tools, equipment, and spare parts that we can carry to the site.
We hope one day that our work on an open sea swimmer will open doors to underwater applications in search and rescue, marine life observations, coral reef restorations and many more as we set the path for underwater mobility.